so Pete Davidson is back at a Clippers game. I can only imagine the team's strategy meeting. All right, if we can distract the audience with a celebrity sighting instead of our defense, we might stand a chance. I mean, who wouldn't want to check out the game, but also keep one eye on the stands trying to catch a glimpse of Pete's latest tattoo-free arm? It's like a choose-your-own-adventure book for fans. Basketball or the weirdly comforting antics of Pete? Decisions, decisions. And let's talk about that mental health treatment. He shows up fresh after some introspection, firing on all cylinders. Forget the slew of basketball jerseys this man has officially made self-care in. Seriously, he's like the poster child for take a break and don't worry about it. You know, while the rest of us are out here trying to survive another Monday. Bravo, Pete. Please write a self-help book. I can already see the title, How to Get Your Life Together While Your Friends Are in NBA Jerseys. Oh, and the tattoo removal? That's a level of commitment that says, I'm ready to start over more than your last relationship. I mean, I thought removing tattoos was like saying, oops, I didn't mean to order the large fries. Clearly Pete's saying, I do mean it this time. So expect a flurry of disappointed tattoo artists just having to go back to painting fruit bowls instead of skin canvases. Picture Pete walking into that tattoo removal shop. I can assume he walked in with the swagger of a man who just won the lottery. Take it all off. Remove that ink like it was a bad Tinder match. Can we also take a second to appreciate the classy nature of his choices? This guy goes from wearing his heart on his sleeve to nothing. Boxers will need to come up with some way more intriguing ways to scare you now if they want business. And fans are thrilled. I mean, who wouldn't want to see their favorite Mr. Oh You Know Me back on the courts, yet not being the center of drama for a change? They must have been counting the days, hoping for Pete sightings with popcorn as their only game plan. Can we just agree, sometimes life isn't just a match, it's a whole season, and we're all rooting for him to win a championship of sanity? But let's be real, is anything more comforting than a man who has furiously removed his tattoos while making big public appearances? It's like he's saying, you can't hurt me anymore, except for maybe during a Clippers game. Have we collectively decided Pete Davidson is our emotional support friend now? Isn't that what true fandom looks like? Cheering him on from the sidelines, even if it means ignoring how badly their team is playing? This is personal growth at its finest. So here's a thought to ponder. If we can all handle our emotional baggage as openly as Pete handles his tattoo removal, would the world be a better place? Like what would be your emotional baggage? Hands up, who's ready to get rid of their regrets? Am I sounding too much like a motivational speaker now? Or should I also bring a fog machine and some groovy music to this emotional detox party? Like and subscribe, please.